what is going on guys so we are back out surf fishing and today i'm going to be using uh the sabiki rigs i already got it all rigged up on my thing so it's all empty uh this is the size six hook uh sabiki rig uh, is the biggest uh hook that they have um i got two actually two of them but one is like a different kind i can't remember exactly what it's called but it starts with an m and uh you know i thought i'd try it and right now i'm just gonna go use the sabiki rig with nothing on there but you know i might throw like a little grub on there just to experiment with it and uh let's see what we can catch today Alright guys, this is my setup, uh, the Sabiki rig. Um, I did try it, you know, alone by itself, um, no luck. But, you know, I'm experimenting with, with a little bit. You know, I put on, you know, gulp sandworms. Uh, I got the two inch bloody gulp sandworms on here, but I cut them in half uh, to make it an inch so they fit on the hooks since the biggest size of Sabiki ri uh, rig that they had was a, six, a size six hook. So, I got bloody gulp sandworms on the top, then I left it blank, and then, you know, kind of all the way down, uh, gulp sandworm blank, gulp sandworm blank, you know, because I'm just experimenting with it a little bit, and, uh, you know, I did go to a, uh, I did switch beaches, but, you know, the beaches aren't that far, um, I think I was at the first beach that I went to was only like a couple miles away from the other so I didn't have any luck at the other beach um, you know the bite was dead and then when I came here you know it was a little later Caught a little baby one. That is the tiniest barred perch I've ever caught. And I was, and what I did is I uh, took um, the, the gulp sandworms and I cut the two inches in half to make it like an inch. And uh, I kind of did, and I put them on every other little hook on the sabiki. So I got like gulp sandworm, none, gulp sandworm, none, and uh, caught this little dude. And uh, you know, gonna let him go. Oh, wrong way, dude. Go that way. And he's gone. Uh, I have to keep moving because all these surfers that are coming in are like, instead of walking about 20 yards or so away from me and then going out, they could just cut right, literally right in front of me. So, you know, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. I just don't wanna get anybody hooked. And, uh,. So far, just caught that baby perch, the baby barb perch. Had a few bites. Oh, the water feels good. It's like not super cold, but it's not like, uh, it's like perfect. Fish on, fish on, fish on. I think. Yep, yep, fish on. Another barred perch. Ugh. 
And he took the gulp sandworm, the... All right, come on, dude. There you go. Another beautiful barred perch. Let's get a little release on them. You know the 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 bite was dead all morning and it picked up, I think it's around 8.30 or so, 9. I think I started at like 7.30, somewhere around there. There you got another one. Another baby barred perch. And what did he take? He took the gulp sandworm. Yep. Down. Oh no, it came off. Shoot, I had one on. I did switch beaches. The first beach that I went to, I had a couple bites, but you know, I couldn't hook up. And what was it? I started that at that beach at about 7.45, 7.50-ish. And I was there for a good, what, 40 minutes or so. And then I moved over here and I got a couple bites when I got, when I first started here. And then the bite picked up at about nine o'clock. So I might just start coming at nine o'clock instead of like super early in the morning. But uh, yeah, I got, you know, got what, four? Surf first three, something like that. And uh, now the surfers have uh, drifted off away from me, which is good. You know, I'm debating, I, maybe I should put some grubs on the other hooks instead of leaving them blank. You know, on my next cast, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw on grubs. Oh. Going to be throwing some motor oil colored grubs on there, just to see how they do. Um, I, you know, assume that motor oil color, like, is about the same color as, like, uh, the gulp sandworms, the camo version and stuff, so, I'm gonna try those out. Just scooching over a bit. 
Um, it was pretty funny. Uh, there was this, well, there, there was this dog, or a couple dogs, that were, you know, around me. And, you know, they were playing and stuff. And so I was, like, trying to pay attention to them. So, you know, I don't step on them or anything. And then... While I'm, you know, paying attention to the dogs, I feel doo 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 doo, and I was like, oh crap! I got, I got, you know, a few fish on, like, like, I got multiple fish on the the sabiki rig, and uh, no, it was just a bunch of birds hitting the line. I was all excited with the doo 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 doo. I thought I'd head over over there by the pier. It's like down there. Just to see what's uh, hanging around the pier. So, uh, see what's over there. Alright, this pier, I've been wanting to go on it, but it's been closed down for remodeling. And, uh, they're going to be reopening it at about October 21st, I think. And they're going to be having a clam festival. And, uh, if you're in the area, you know exactly what pier this is. There's actually two piers that are being remodeled. And, uh, I kind of want to go pier fishing. I haven't done that in a long time, so... October 21st is when this pier opens. Clam Festival. So I couldn't get close to the pier. Um, I'm probably about 200 yards away uh, because of there's a crap load of surfers and I got like a small window to fish. What is going on guys? So I know that's gonna be like a weird transition. I was just at the beach and then boom, I'm here. But I was kind of pissed because when I go out surf fishing, I like to leave my shoes out on, you know, the shore where, you know, it's not gonna get washed away because I'm not gonna carry shoes in my hands while I'm fishing. So, you know, I, I usually, I put my shoes on the shores like usual and I put a couple of things in my shoe and uh i'm probably about 10 maybe 15 yards away from my shoes and so one of the things i was in there was a rig that i was gonna take off the sabiki rig and put the new one on just you know to try while i'm out there and you know i get back to my shoes and i'm like what the heck where is it at and they're gone somebody stole them you know, there's a lot of people walking back and forth near my shoes. And, you know, I was looking back just, you know, to check. But, you know, I didn't think, you know, anybody would steal stuff out of my shoes. But it's not like they're irreplaceable. It's like, I guess it's whatever since it, whatever. So it's just the point. But... So, you know, I was hoping to catch a lot more fish with the Sabiki rig, but it is what it is. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, smash the subscribe button. Me and Dave talked about going kayak fishing today, but he has some stuff to do. I had a couple things to do, so instead I just decided to go uh, surf fishing for a couple hours. 
And uh, hopefully next weekend, I'll be out kayak fishing. I got a couple new swim baits that I'm wanting to try. So that's what I, the next, when I go out kayak, kayak fishing again, I'm going to try those and I'm going to show you those swim baits. And uh, yeah, peace. Thank you.